Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be all about travel skincare. So I'm going to be showing you all of the products that I use when I travel, whether you're flying, driving, going by a train, whatever means of transportation you are doing, this skincare routine has gotten me through so many so 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 many plane rides so many long hour car rides and all of my little eczema issues so whatever your skincare needs are this should work for all skin types so of course tailor it to your own needs but these are my tips and tricks that i'm going to show you so let's go ahead and get started so for this video i don't have on makeup clearly as you can see it's about skincare i thought i'd keep it as authentic as possible plus i've been testing out stuff as i film this so uh, couldn't really wear makeup if I'm doing skincare. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the first thing from when I wake up in the morning and do like my morning routine, evening routine, whatever time it is before I'm about to fly or drive. So the first thing that I do is I go ahead and wash my face and you can use whatever face wash that you want to use. But the second thing which I think is really important is I use a face mask. This is just an example of one that I use. This is a donkey milk skin gel mask because this is a hydrating mask and I want to put emphasis on using a hydrating mask. You can use whichever one you want. This one is from Sue AE and it just really moisturizes and hydrates your skin. It's like a gel mask. So a hydrating mask is going to be so important because if you're on a plane, it's that artificial air. It's really drying, especially if you're on a plane for a long time and sometimes your skin feels really tight afterwards. That's from being on the plane for so long in that kind of nasty air you know that recycled air and then also when you drive for a long time it's the same thing like whether you have on the outside air or the inside air for your car it's still going to be really drying in those environmental factors that can get to your skin like the sun whether it's cold or hot you know so starting your day off with a skincare mask instead of sleeping with one on can really change a lot especially if it's a moisturizing mask so I'll wash my face like I said and then I'll go ahead and put a face mask like this one on and you can find these at Walmart these Sue AE masks you can actually find these at Walmart and also Sephora has some really good inexpensive ones they're like eight dollars if you want to get them from there but Walmart is like easily accessible for everyone so you can go ahead and pick these up there so the next thing that I do is I spray my face with some kind of a face mist like right after because every single time you use one of these face masks there's like that residue from all of the cream and stuff on it and instead of just immediately rubbing it in I always spray myself with a face mist and then when that feels like it's drying I massage all of that in and then put on a moisturizer so I don't immediately go ahead and rub it all in and then just continue with my routine I really like to let everything sit and take its time so that it can really absorb so one of my favorite face masks right now is another Sue AE products but it's the revitalizing rose mist I usually have been using the Mario Badescu sprays but I'm trying to try other things and try new things because I've been noticing that it's kind of been changing my skin a little bit so I'm trying out this one and also another one that I like to bring with me on the plane is by Evian it's like those little travel size ones but I'll get to that in a minute so like I said don't go ahead and massage all the stuff into your face yet spray your face with a face mist let it sit for just a little while and then massage it in and then put on a face moisturizer so if you're traveling during the day I definitely suggest wearing SPF but if you're like traveling at nighttime or something like that then of course you don't have to but my favorite face lotion with SPF in it is by Rodeal right now and this one is the SPF 15 snake moisturizer 02 and this one is just a nice white cream it's pretty thick I just put a little bit on the back of my hand but it's pretty thick so I gotta let this one sit for a while too before moving on to anything else. So it moisturizes so well and it helps with like anti-aging, fine lines, things like that. It's a really good moisturizer. But my all-time favorite SPF face moisturizer actually comes from the drugstore and that one is by Olay. And I love that one so much but I ran out of it and I didn't have time to get anything new. So I was like I'll just try this one out and see how it goes. So if it's nighttime and I'm not using SPF, another one of my favorite lotions for my face is It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This is a pretty thick cream as well. I think I talked about this in one of my videos, or at least I know I talked about it on Snapchat. But this stuff feels amazing. It feels so good. I really do love the way this stuff feels. A dupe for this for the drugstore, I think, is the Pons creams. The ones, like, in this, like, a white jar, and they sometimes have, like, a blue or a green lid. Those are really, really good, because this It Cosmetics one at Sephora will run you for about $50. So, if you are looking for higher-end stuff, I'd say 
Rodeal or It Cosmetics for the SPF and the regular moisturizer. But if you're looking for something a little bit more drugstore, then I'd go for Pons and for Olay and they work just as well. So my next steps are for when you're going to get on the plane. So we've got our skin all done, moisturized, but next is for the stuff for on the plane where I have all the stuff in my purse or easily accessible. So the next things that I do, usually if I have a long flight, I'll bring a water sleeping mask. And this one is the big size. There's smaller ones available, but I'll get like a travel size jar and just put a little bit of this in there and put this on my face, but I don't put it all over the place. I only put this in my dry spots. And I know this seems like overkill, but if you're on a plane for like four hours, by the end of it, your face will feel really icky sometimes. So I'll put it like in this area right here, in this area, because it's really really dry and I'm already having like a well I had a, a little eczema breakup this weekend so if it's really red right now my apologies but I'll put it like right here right here and I'll also kind of get dry in these areas too so I'll just put a little bit of it on but don't put it everywhere and if you have oily skin then you can definitely skip this step but if you have skin that tends to get dry or sensitive especially while like flying and traveling I definitely suggest this so for lip balm my favorite one is by nukes this is the rev de miel lip balm i accidentally poked a hole in it with my nail <laughs> so excuse that but i love this lip balm it smells like honey and it keeps my lips moisturized forever long so that's definitely something important for the plane for me as well and also i don't put these on immediately when I get on the plane like I'll get my seat I'll kind of relax for a minute and then once like we can move around when we're in the air a little bit then I put the stuff on my face and then just like chill out and like take a nap another important thing for me to bring on the plane is aquaphor and this little CeraVe jar so both of these are healing ointments and I think that they're both good I don't think that one of them is better than the other one it really depends on your preference but what I'll do and this is something that I actually do immediately when I get on the plane I take this little jar or I take this aquaphor I'm like running out of this one but I'll take this jar and just open it up and I'll actually put this on my cuticles because when I get off planes for some reason my hands are so dry it just feels so gross and disgusting so I'll put that all over my hands like a thick layer of it because when I get off the plane it feels like my little cuticles and stuff are peeling and it looks like hangnails and it looks gross so that's something that I will do. Also, on top of my lip balm, sometimes I put this aquaphor if I feel like I'm really dry. And then like I said, I have eczema and stuff around this area. So I'll put that on top of that and it feels amazing. It completely soothes it. It feels great. So if you have skin irritation, if you notice that your skin gets dry in certain areas than others, then this sleeping mask is going to be perfect for you. And this aquaphor and the CeraVe healing ointment is going to be great as well. So I also forgot to mention that this sleep mask is by Laniege. I don't think I mentioned the brand name. So the bigger one is going to be a little bit more expensive, but the smaller one is less expensive. And it's a really great sleeping mask, even though, of course, it's supposed to be for nighttime. It's perfect for any time, really. And also what I used to do before the plane would land, like whenever the pilot is like, you know, we are preparing to descend and things like that. I would take the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask and put it all over my lips and then kind of like blot it off when we landed just for some extra hydration and moisturization. But since I got these little flash patch gels, I'll be using these next time that I fly because they only need to be left on for like five minutes and plus it's in this cute little package. So I can just literally pop one on, take it off, and then put on some lip balm and go about my life. So I will be using this in the future, but the Bite Beauty Lip Agave Mask is great too, and I also used to use it on my cuticles as well. So that thing doubles as all kind of moisturization and hydration, so if it works for your skin type, then i definitely go ahead and pick it up as well. They're at Sephora. You get a lot of it in the tube, and it lasted me for a really, really long time. And I just realized that I don't have my little Evian sprays in here with me. It's in my car, and my car is across the street. But, but what I usually do as well when the plane lands is I just spray that literally all over my face just for some extra hydration so that when I get off the plane I look nice and dewy and fresh and not like I just slept forever long, you know? So I'll just spray that on my face and then go ahead, grab my stuff and get on about my business. So, here's another thing that I usually use when I'm on planes as well. I don't put this in my carry-on or my purse because I think it's a little bit too big and if they take this, I will cry. So this is by H2O Beauty. It's called the Elements on the Move Stick is targeted cleansing that you control. So basically what this is, is it's a cleansing stick infused with a touch of pearl extract. And basically what you do is you wet your face and then you massage this stick all over your face until it starts foaming. So what I'll do with this 
is I'll get off the plane and then I'll go into the bathroom and I mean I've got this sleeping mask on my face I've got all this cream all this stuff you know trying to look hydrated so that I don't look crazy when I land and you're gonna feel like you want to wash your face sometimes if you have time to do that then I would definitely go and invest in like a cleansing stick like this I think that Tarte has one but this H2O I just love H2O products so you can go ahead and pick one of these up whenever you are literally in Kohl's, Sephora, anywhere. I think they even have some stuff from H2O Beauty at Marshalls. I got a lot of stuff from H2O Beauty at Marshalls, like big kits of stuff from Marshalls. So I'm just going to roll it up so you can see what it looks like. This one's a new one that I haven't opened because the other ones are gross. <laughs> but this is basically what it looks like. It's literally just like a white tube thing and it's kind of smooth to the touch but basically this is like the perfect thing for on the run but I don't put this in my carry-on like I said because I don't want them to take it because I feel like it may be a little bit too big so just in case I'll put it in my suitcase somewhere that I can easily grab it so that when I grab my suitcase and stuff I can go to the bathroom and just wet my face literally just massage this in wash it off and then I already have my lotions with me so I can just go ahead and put one of these on and we're good so that is pretty much my travel skincare routine of all the things that I do in the morning before, the things that I do on the plane or in the car, and then immediately afterwards. So I hope that this video was helpful for some of you guys to let you into my world of what I do with my skin when I travel because I love to travel. I drive a lot. I fly a lot. So I just wanted to let you guys in on some of my tips and tricks, especially since I do have eczema breakouts every now and then. It really helps me to really be super, super nitpicky about my skincare, especially when I travel because that dry air can literally change everything for me. So I hope that you guys learned some new things and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any travel skincare tips or anything that you do and cannot live without when you travel, fly or drive, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know. And let me know what you guys think of this video as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below as well. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. All products used to be listed in the description bar below, of course, as always. So I hope that you guys have safe travels wherever you go and I hope that your skin feels nice smooth and hydrated. <laughs> so I hope that you guys have a great day or night whatever time you're watching this. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And as always, I hope that you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.